Waalaikumsalam. So we started uh, talking about Maqasid uh, al-Shariya, or simply we can call it Maqasid. And uh, now we are familiar with Maqasid, that Maqasid are the long-term broad objectives of Sharia. And uh, this is a scholarly body of work which is pioneered by Imam Ghazali, Imam Shatbi, and Tahir ibn Ashkur. These are some of the pioneers of this branch of knowledge that is known as Maqasid. And uh, Maqasid are derived from Quran and authentic Hadith. It's not that uh, it's the something which has been uh, uh, came from somewhere else. It has been derived from the original sources of Sharia, that is, and then Sahih Hadith. And uh, so, so initially they, they identified these three, six, six objectives, or six Maqasid al-Sharia. is religion, life, progeny, property, intellect, and honor, not only the protection and preservation of these rights, but also the promotion of these rights. So if the thing which protects the religion, which protects the right of faith, the right of life, and removes the threat to the life of, uh, of uh, humans and uh, then project or the family property or the security and safety but not only the security and safety of life security and safety of the property then intellect so so uh, you know uh, Stealing is not allowed. Why bribery is not? Uh, uh, looting or some usurping the property of others is not allowed. This, this thing, and I mean, uh, because one of the object Sharia is to protect the property humans, protect property of uh, property of so anything that destroys the property of uh, of people is from Sharia point of view, is not allowed, is not from Sharia point of view. Similarly, intellect means application of uh, logic, application of mind, think, logical thinking, and this is uh, you know, a, a, a desirable thing, this which uh, Quran uh, uh, emphasizes on, that logic, we should apply mind, and uh, so any kind of thing which uh, promotes intellectual thinking, rational thinking, logical thinking, from Sharia point of view. So one of the object is to promote logical thinking. Then sex, honor, the honor of people at no, you know, so it, it, the honor of the people is of utmost importance. It should be protected. No attack on the honor of people. It's the duty. I mean, it should be punished if we want, if, if, if uh, Makasid uh, has to be achieved, then uh, all these six rights have to be protected and preserved. The protection of religion means achieving the purpose of worship of God or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The protection and preservation of human life refers to the sanctity of life as emphasized in the Quran and Sunnah. This objective also refers to the provision of basic necessities to all. So uh, when we use this term 
that uh, the human life should be protected and preserved it uh, is uh, also related to other subsidiary objectives say for example providing basic necessities to every human basic necessity providing basic necessities to every human is also part of protection and preservation of life because if if someone is deprived of the basic necessities in this life so of course he will not be able to enjoy this life so uh, that will go against this objective of of sharia that is protection and preservation of human life the protection of progeny or the family relates to marriage and the family institution whose purposes are procreation protection against lack of chastity and the proper up upbringing of children enabling them to become good human beings and muslims and to bring peace and tranquility to society means to realize this objective realizing these objectives are the pro, uh, means to realize this objective are the promotion of the marriage contract tenets relating to family life and prohibition of adultery so why adultery is prohibited in islam because of this objective of sharia that is protection of family life because if adultery is allowed then family life will be destroyed and and uh, as a result if the family is not at peace then of course the society will also be not at peace means to realize this objective are the promotion of the marriage contract tenets relating to family life and prohibition of adultery protection of wealth and property refers to the sanctity of the wealth of all members of the society with an emphasis on valid earning or halal earning and discouragement of a concentration of wealth leading to a vast gap between the poor and rich and the inability of the farmer to meet their basic needs of food health and fundamental nutrition the promotion of human intellect refers to acquiring knowledge thus enabling people to differentiate between good and bad and to play their part in enhancing the welfare of human society as a whole the protection of human honor and dignity refers to the prohibition of false accusation the right to privacy and the sanctity of privacy the above primary objectives of sharia lead to a number of secondary objectives which are establishment of justice and equity in society this is also very important uh, objective which has been identified the ultimate objective is establishment of justice and equity in the society a very famous uh, quote the quotation i don't know whose quotation is this uh, which goes like this that uh, peace is not possible without justice so justice is also very important if something wrong has been done with someone it has to be corrected the person who has oppressed has to be punished the person who has done wrong has to be punished otherwise peace will not be there in the society so any society where the justice system or the court system is not working or is not efficient will lead to disquiet in the society and will create further problems in the society because justice is you know one of the basic things that humans wants and as per of the objectives of sharia this more fundamental aim is to form the concept of justice among all people just at all level the promotion of social security mutual help solidarity particular need to the uh, poor and needy in meeting their basic needs so social security for example the system of zakat and sadaqat that is there in the islam is in line with this objective 
mutual help solidarity particularly towards the uh, poor people and needy in meeting their basic needs so if there is some people in the society uh, who are not able to meet their basic needs it is the duty of the people who are well off to take care of those people who are needy and poor so anything that promotes help helping of the needy people helping of the poor people is desirable is in line with the sharia object maintenance of peace and security anything that promotes peace in the society is desirable and anything that creates and destroys peace in the society is not desirable from sharia point so say for example the most important thing is injustice so injustice creates you know the problems in the society so it has to be removed to establish peace in the society justice has to be done only then peace will be achieved the promotion of co uh, of cooperation in matters of goodness and prohibition of evil we can cooperate with everyone in matters which are good in in things which are good say for example quran says ta'amanu alal birri wa taqwa wa la ta'amanu alal ism wal ibad cooperate with each other in good matters in good things and don't cooperate with each other in in evil thing in bad thing so if say for example if there is some uh, organization whose objective is very clearly defined say for example uh, feeding the hungry people this can be the objective so we can you know cooperate with anyone to fulfill this objective that is feeding the feeding the hungry so the promotion of cooperation in matters of goodness and prohibition of evil deeds and action so cooperation in good matters from for uh, cooperation in good things is desirable from sharia point of view and uh, in uh, cooperation in bad deeds is prohibited the promotion of supreme universal moral values and all actions necessary for the preservation and authority uh, of uh, nature any action that promotes the universal moral values what are universal moral values say for example <clears throat> one of the universal value is uh, truth so anything that promotes the truth in the society and destroys the falsehood from the society is desirable so uh, in india we say uh, satya mev jayate let that truth prevail so this is very good thing good one of the objective of sharia is to the promotion of truth truth should be preserved truth should be promoted similarly another project, uh, uh, universal value is honesty say right honesty so anything that promotes honesty in people in society and removes corruption is desirable so say for example one of the things that removes corruption is transparency so transparency so transparency is desirable because it promote it uh, uh, it brings uh, you know uh, it removes corruption from the society Uh, there is a saying in english that goes like this some uh, some uh, us supreme court judge uh, their uh, judge has said that uh, sunlight is the best disinfectant so this quotation is uh, you know related with transparency so and it is goes like that if uh, if we establish transparency in any system a lot of corruption will automatically be removed because corruption normally is done in in closed doors somewhere where people are not able to see 
what is happening inside inside the system inside the room what is happening and there is no way to know what happened so if we ensure if we design a system in such a manner that uh, secrecy cannot be maintained this and tra transparency can be introduced in the system so that is desirable because it is removing corruption from the society it is bringing honesty among the people and and uh, you know stopping people from uh, indulging into corrupt activities so the promotion of universal values these are universal values i mean honesty truth no these are universal values and 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 desirable i mean uh, i mean pro protection and promotion of these universal values is is one of the uh, you know main objective of sharia say for example there is one uh, famous hadith that goes like this that uh, the best form of jihad jihad means struggle the best form of struggle is speaking truth in front of a tyrant king tyrant somebody who is uh, an oppressor so if someone is very strict and known for oppressing people speaking truth in front of him is one of the best act which is liked by god so much importance has been given to the truth the truth is one of the you know basic thing uh, and that has to be promoted in the society anything that brings truth and, and removes falsehood and and a uh, false uh false uh, data false knowledge false information false news all these things are you know creating troubles in the society so promotion of truth is one of the you know basic truth is just one of the universal value and that i am giving you example of otherwise there are other universal values also apart from truth like uh, uh like uh, helping the needy and poor helping the uh, you know the most underprivileged uh, section of the society this is one of the you know universal value universal value so and honesty honesty is also one of the universal value anything that brings uh, and promotes uh, honesty among the people and in the society is desirable from the sharia so from the study of quran and sunnah some basic socio economic uh, rights of human beings have been identified one of the approach is rights approach so these are some of the you know basic objectives have been identified by scholars uh, from quran and hadith uh, apart from this one approach of maqasid is the rights approach i mean uh, rights what is the, what are the rights of humans so this has also been identified from the quran and some of the rights that have been indicated and identified are right right for uh, the right to safety or and security the right to be informed the right to choose the right to be heard the right to satisfaction of basic needs the right to redress the right to education the right to healthy environment and the basis of all you know these rights are from quran and after this class i will send you a book uh, that is specifically on on this uh, aspect that is maqasid and uh, if somebody wants to study these uh, things in detail you may refer to that book uh, and uh, i will also send you these ppts just uh, after this session uh, now i invite questions and uh, Curie, if if there is some question, Curie, you may ask.
Please ask something. If there is something that you want to ask, any query that is coming in your mind, you may speak freely. No question? Okay, thank you very much. Now uh, we will meet in the next class.